in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 5. When you go for a dental checkup, chances are you're not thinking about getting heart disease, having a stroke, or diabetes. But some bacteria in your mouth can mean you're at risk, and a new test could save your life. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a sample of your plaque in between your teeth. Okay? Al Dalbeni was not a regular at the dentist's office. It had been 15 years before I had gone to the dentist. So you can imagine that my teeth were in pretty bad shape. So when he went to Dr. Kurish Madahi for a checkup, he got more than a cleaning. He received potentially life-saving information, all because the doctor looked at the bacteria in his mouth. And now it's all over everywhere that, you know, your gums are connected to your heart as far as health-wise. And um, not to get too personal, but my father died of heart disease. We're looking at the rods, which are the good bacteria, and we're also looking at the spinning rods, which are the bad bacteria. You're looking at a bacteria test Dr. Madahi does for patients. The results are not Delbeni's, but similar to what was found during his first checkup. Well, first of all, we have a host of different types of bacteria in the mouth. Some are good, some are bad. The ones that are bad can cause the gum disease, and can also be a prelude to stroke or heart attack or indicative of diabetes. Dr. Madahi says getting regular cleanings from your dentist is crucial when it comes to getting rid of bad bacteria, but after that, the most important thing is home care. We're talking flossing, brushing, and mouthwash. Make sure that you're brushing your teeth three times a day, flossing your teeth once a day, using a mouthwash that is antimicrobial and killing the bacteria and getting rid of the high-risk bacteria in your mouth. You're doing great. And with visits every three months and proper care, Al Delbeni's test is clear of high-risk bacteria. He knows it's not just about his mouth, but overall health. So I don't want to, uh, you know, take any chances. For more information on this test, go to CBS2.com and click on the Pulse. Dr. Madahi says one out of every ten patients he sees with high-risk bacteria actually find out they have a serious condition.